All right, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be painting that color wheel that we started drawing in the last section. So we're using watercolor colored pencils today. And if you've never used these before, they're really, really cool. So um, basically it works like a regular colored pencil and you just color in the space that you want to be that color and you layer the colors over one another. So right now I'm coloring in all of the primary colors. I used magenta instead of red because magenta is the true primary color. And I'm layering black watercolor pencil over the magenta and the yellow to create the shade. I'm using the white watercolor pencil over the tint section to make my tints lighter. Because even though it doesn't look like anything, there's actually white paint in there and it's going to lighten that shade. Now I'm going to be blending colors to create my tertiary colors and my secondary colors. So I started with the tertiary color, red, orange, and I'm layering the lightest color first, always the lightest color first. So I started with yellow because it's significantly lighter than magenta. And I'm gonna make sure that red orange has more magenta in it than orange, and that orange has more magenta in it than yellow orange. And I wanna make sure each shade section gets the same amount of black and each tint section gets the same amount of white so that in the end, my color wheel will look nice and even. So I started with yellow for the yellow green section because yellow is lighter than blue. And I'm just repeating the process. I started with yellow again because yellow is lighter than blue. And I don't want to have the blue overtake my green because it's very, very easy for the blue to dominate. For the blue green one, I started with blue because I wanted there to be more blue than yellow in order to create that really pretty turquoisey blue green color. For blue violet, I'm starting with blue because it said the word blue first. Um, the violet and the blue are about the same density, so it really won't make a difference which one you start with. Just make sure on the blue violet section, you have more blue than magenta. For violet, I started with magenta and I'm trying to create a nice pretty purple. You can already see it starting to blend. Don't forget about your tints and your shades. For red violet, I started with magenta and I'm gonna layer a little bit of cyan blue on top of that and finish it off with a shade. So this is what it should look like at this point. Now here comes the magic. So you're going to get a paper towel, a can of water and a paintbrush and you're going to use the water to blend these colors together. So because we're using watercolor colored pencils, it's going to blend all of those lines together. And hopefully you filled them in really nice and even. So it'll be easy to blend. And you notice after I change pie pieces, I wash my brush out. And I always start with the tint, then I do the hue, and I do the shade last because the black one will dirty up your other colors. So anytime you blend a shade together, you should always wash your brush out. So what's really neat about watercolor colored pencils is you can see on this spot, I realized I didn't do enough color. So I went back and colored over some of it before I finished blending it out. And that gives you the opportunity to adjust it as you go. Just make sure that you adjust it before you put water on it because once you've painted it, it's really hard to fix it. You have to wait for it to completely dry before you can color back over it. So try to do it when it's dry. And when you're painting, you don't want to scrub across the paper. You just want to fill it in the best you can and then move on. If you rub and grind your paint 
pour your paintbrush into the paper, you're going to tear the paper up and you're going to make holes. You don't want to do that. Alrighty guys, this is what it looks like when it's finished. Take a picture, upload your work. I can't wait to see what you've created. Bye.